Welcome back to the channel guys. As always, I'm Sean and today I have a very special video for you. We're going to take you along as we move a piano. This is kind of a, a different type of video than we usually do because we're going to show you a day in the life of a piano mover. You're not going to want to miss out because it's a very difficult type of move. If you guys have been following along with the channel for any amount of time, you probably already know that our F550 has a specialized piano lift gate. That's a Palfinger cantilever lift gate. That means it can be level on any type of terrain and it's great for what we're about to do. But today we don't have that because Ford are notorious for being in the shop. Anyways, we're going to take this truck because it has multiple side doors. And in a couple videos I explain why side doors are so important to movers. Well, today you get to see that in action as we're going to come out of the side door, the driver's side door, and ramp up to extremely high loading dock. Basically, we have to build a bridge between the truck and the loading dock because the loading dock is actually about six foot tall. So you're not going to want to miss out, but before we get into the video, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Ready? Piano's in there nice and secure, ready to get delivered. We're gonna go ahead and do that here once we slide the ramp back in. Using a ramp isn't the most ideal way to move a nine foot concert grand piano, but right now our Ford that has a cantilever lift gate, it's specially designed for piano moving, is in the shop. And Fords, unfortunately, we've learned over time, are not the best truck in the world. So we have to use our GMC C5500 here, which is our other piano truck. It just does not have a lift gate. Um, having a lift gate is really just a luxury, especially a cantilever one, because it goes uh, up and down and can level on any type of surface. So if we're on a hill, it will always stay level, which is kind of cool and really good for these type of pianos. But again, it's in the shop. So we had to do what we had to do today. We're using a 12 foot uh, aluminum walk board to get it up there. It just takes a little bit more effort. You have to be very skilled and experienced to do that. But as you can see, we got it done no problem at all. It's all secured. We're gonna go ahead and slide this walkboard up in there now and go on and deliver the piano. I heard Matt showed up. He wasn't much of a participant. Yeah. Okay, we always make sure that the doors are locked, secured, all latched up top, latched down here. We're ready to rock and roll. Got to turn the lights off in the back.
but we could tell that there's a lot of weight on this truck just because the way it's leaning a little bit kind of take a look here far from overloaded but definitely has a lot of weight on one side that loading dock we gotta go to and see how high that is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that side door we're gonna take this side door back it up to that high dock and then ramp across you guys ready to roll pretty high there guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ramp across out of the side door of the truck and then up to the loading dock
I don't know if you guys really understood what we had to do there. Let me show you, break it down for you. You guys could see that this door is open. The piano is so long, it's nine foot long, and this box is only eight foot wide. We had to angle it out, hang it out a little bit, and then bring it up and up and across that ramp there. It's pretty treacherous. At least six foot high here. Normal docks are about three. So again, we had to swing it out there and then come along up here. Quick side note for you guys, if you're interested in the equipment we use, if you're wondering where to get some for yourself, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have everything listed right there for you. If you guys like this kind of stuff, if you want to see more Day in the Life videos, let me know in the comment section below. What are you interested in seeing? I'd like to bring it to you. And hey, we do a lot of how-to videos here, but I'd like to show you guys more about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. This was really unique. This is a very tough piano move. That's why we had four guys on it. Typically we don't. And if you were wondering who that guy in the polo was, well, that's my father. He was out here supervising, making sure everything went smoothly. That's what he does. So just in case you were curious, but go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more uh, how-to videos or do you want to see more day in the life? We'll bring it to you no matter what. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And I'll catch you in the next one.